this is Tony, Tony's Music. I'd like to say I'm doing a tutorial on behalf of a Doodly and Toodly PNGs member. Um, and what it is, is this scene is having trouble trying to get the dresses off this scene. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, click on that um, arrow there to make it a bigger picture. And then I'm going to use the Slip It tool from Microsoft's um, toolkit and I'm going to use the rectangular mode to snip the picture there making sure I'm in, inside the picture rather than outside if you go outside the picture you'll get a, you get the marks of the the blackness on the outside and I don't want that oh, that's better right so I've done that now uh, save that as a capture PNG like that to my desktop get out of that get out of that now what I can do is use the photo editor to edit it and that's what you do so affinity photo is the one I'm going to use so right now what I'm going to go to is this tool over here which is like the erase brush tool but there's a um, flood erase tool there and you see the mannequin there I'm just going to click on that and let's erase that bit now if, with this one here you've got two pieces if you want to erase the lot and put it as a one piece you just click click and it's one piece after and you can change the colour um, or you can erase one part at a time and then change the colour and then do the other part after that would be the best if you wanted to save it as a two piece right so you do change that to blue um, flood right that's it then you go to flood your eyes tool change that to red oh that's too light red darker red I want it yeah. and flood tool red oh, sort of thing right um, if you want to do that that's what you do right anyway let's go on to these what you do is you just click 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 don't click on the purple one because the purple one seems to take off all of it like this look I'll, I can do undo that to put it back right there obviously must be a, a gap in between the line there isn't a full line there apparently so you can't do that so but you can do the the belt the belts okay so we got rid of that right then what you can do if if you don't want to do that you could just cover it with the with the bricks um rectangles like this just cover it with the rectangles there because you'd have to cover it with rectangles afterwards anyway so you might as well just do that just cover it with a rectangle and flood that rectangle in this color right and the the line cut that out that's the edge around the edge do that so that's like that and then do another one up here up to there from there like that you can do that and edit change that colour to the lighter colour from there and that would be the easiest way to do it but you still have them behind there if you wanted to take the thingy back off take the thingy back off they're still there you could do that right and just either get rid of the hooks that would be the easiest way to do it right you could do it that way and that looks like a normal what's this but they to get rid of the hooks you'd have to just clean them off I'll show you how to get rid of them actually you can do a flood your eyes on them and that'll get rid of them so what we need to do is go back and view into them um, I mean 800 go up and obviously you've got a bit of stuff there to repair you just flood your eyes that flood your eyes that flood your eyes that that's how you get rid of them but you, you'd still have to repair what the, the damage that they've done to whatever it is right actually what we need to do is click on this pull that up just a little bit tinsy bit more and then we can do a line or a, a rectangle there to cover that 
and do the line other again so that would be easiest to do would be to do that right put a line across there wait a minute let's get it all the way across it looks like it's a different colour doesn't it so what I'll do is just change the colour in a minute Right, so that goes all the way across there just cover that you can do that be just as easy to do that right and then all we need to do is just do pop it that colour and then that's it you, you don't know the difference do you now all you need to do then you just do a line across here say there to there go across that way to there and just change that line to the same as that white so do that you do bump there we go and that's your thing and then we need to do the same here so what we do we could could actually copy that so we go there click on that copy paste and then swing it like that and go this way and swing it like that and just just crop it down a bit just use that and straighten that up a bit level with that and that covers most of that yeah you just bring that in a little touch like that so that'll cover most of that the only thing you've got to worry about is that bit so just do arrange move to front there you go oh, I can just bring that in a bit that's weird why is that like that ok never mind we just bring it down just bring it down and you won't make no difference once you put it down there like that right so that's ok like that then what you can do with this is just do a little square here cover that area and just do that bang that's that colour we could actually just move it back a bit it's moving very far is it let's pan it across a little bit that's alright now if we go back into view and actual size there you go just got to do that bit there I forgot that bit so we go view zoom 800 actually that, that you can still see that bit I don't know like that I'm just going to pull that back in tinge don't matter if you're in a little bit there just say it's a hook area or something don't matter yeah, right so we're going to do the same on this area just pull that out a little bit more like uh -huh. it's going to how, how, um, how um, what's it you are how meticulous you are with the stuff really um, you can do just a little lot, square lot, rectangular like that just go over put that over there just do that and just then you just need to go like that, bump, and that's that colour. So that's it, that. And you just need to cop, um, get a triangular piece, I think. Just try and get a triangle for that piece. And swing it that way a bit. And then do, do it that way out a bit. Now swing that round try and cover that bit there there we go take that up a bit to over there like that and then push that back in a bit not too bad it's pretty close really um, just do this so I can move that over slightly Right now we just bring it out a little bit. There you go. Right now what we need to do with that one, you just do pop. 
and then that should be all alright just need to click on that. click on it and bring it in a little touch there that looks right that looks pretty good so you zoom actual size there you go how's that looking does that look alright um, let's just take that off there like that there you go it's got now nothing on the actual rail it's got a different colour on the mannequin without a head and the other mannequin's got nothing on it but you can change that I'll just put a flood fill with yellow let's do that right so it's in a bit milky yellow here let's try a bit darker shall we I thought it was going to be brighter than that. Let's go over. Uh, nah, that's it, I want that colour. Oh, it's just changed back. Let's try that colour. Wow. That's a, no opacity on it, that's why. As well. So, you know, you can change the colour. You could have a red one instead or something or orange. Try that colour. Oh, but it has changed his hair colour as well. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just undo that bit again. And we change the colour to blue, to pink. Let's change the colour to pink there. That'll do. If you've got the same colour as the hair, it'll change to the same colour. That's the trouble. So, <laughs> I didn't recognise it, didn't notice that. But... You know, if you have something the same colour as the thing you're changing, that'll change too afterwards because there's no lines between them, that's a problem. So, because they're connected, that's the problem. But that's how you get rid of the uh, characters, uh, the sorry, the uh, dresses off the rack and how you change them and everything. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial anyway, and I hope it's been useful to you. All right. Uh, have a good day and please join uh, my subscriptions of uh, Tony's Music and enjoy my new t tutorials that I do every so often and I hope you enjoy my music and videos as well. Thank you.